What's up? This is me with your fix for Wednesday, December 3rd, 2008. Brought to you daily by Hollywood Previews and Freeze the Gels and Hairsprays. Alright, let's take a look at this week's entertainment news. Twilight star Kristen Stewart is set to portray rocker Joan Jett in the biopic The Runaways. The Runaways were hugely influential as the first successful all-girl rock band. Its members included guitarist Jet and Lita Ford, drummer Sandy West, singer keyboardist Cherry Curry, and bassist Jackie Fox. The film will revolve around Jet and Curry and follow them from the band's meteoric rise as teenagers to their disillusion and disillusionment. Music video director Floria Sigismondi wrote the screenplay and is directing. Roman Polanski is trying to get back into Hollywood with his attorneys filing a complaint with the Los Angeles Superior Court seeking to have his 31-year-old sexual misconduct charges dismissed, reports the Variety. The sexual misconduct charges stem from a 1977 encounter with a 13-year-old girl. Polanski fled before sentencing, and since then there's been many attempts to resolve the case. His victim, Samantha Gamer, has repeatedly requested that the charges be dropped. Polanski's attorneys cite extraordinary new evidence that surfaced with the release of Marina Zinovic's documentary Roman Polanski Wanted and Desired as a reason to reopen the case. And a hearing is set for late January. It's the most financially successful film of 2008. It ranks at number four on IMDb and is set to make the list of many critics' top 10 films of the year later this month. You'd think this film would be a shoe-in for the Oscars, but tradition says that movies based on comic book characters do not get nominated for awards. Summer blockbusters, not likely. Sequels, definitely not. So The Dark Knight faces long odds with Academy voters and overcoming the odds is what the site darkcampaign.com is about. The site states the better Dark Knight does in terms of prestige and respect, the higher the bar is raised for the art form. It's dedicated to spreading the word on film sites, movie newspapers, Oscar blogs, and forums all over the internet in hopes of getting the Dark Knight at least nominated for Best Picture. Go check this one out, Bat fans. For more on everything you've seen on today's show, visit HollywoodPreviews.com. It's right on the homepage. I'm V, and you've had your fix.